everybody? This is Miles Luigi, welcome you back to Let's Play Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3. I have my crew with me, which includes... Zimofatot! Kiritora! Higsby! <laughs> Are you ready for Monkey World? I liked that Higsby. I like Donkey Kong That, that was a good Higsby. <laughs> Thank you. That was a good Kiritora. <laughs> you guys are here. so not rockers. You not do the death. No. Well, no, actually, I wasn't really trying. Extreme! Uh, Extreme! To the max! max! Extreme to the max! Gosh. Uh, I forgot the name of that character in G4, um, their X-Play. They had a character who was really extreme. Right. He's like, Mr. Extreme! To the max! It looks like right there you're showing that you cannot run and duck underneath those small gaps. That is yeah. correct. Yoshi, whenever he ducks, kind of stops almost entirely on a dime. And yeah, I can't get underneath there. That's it's going to play important roles when we start running into mud and later on ice. Mm. We're able mud. to do that. Yes, the mud in this game is slippery, as we will see. I hate but them monkeys. <laughs> the monkeys are an interesting enemy <laughs> because we can just flat out eat them, but if we choose not to, they get hurt and run away from you scared. You can even see little sweat marks coming off of them. <laughs> yeah. But they don't, like, if you throw them, they don't die right away. Exactly. And, and matter of fact, you can even spit them at bubble clouds and other things. Or you can just run into them and kill them. Because <laughs> when they're in that... Sort of, uh, when they're in the scared mode, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But not all monkeys are friendly. Some of them throw crap at you, other ones spit seeds at you, and they'll be exhibiting other behaviors, as we'll see later on. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, yeah, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, oh, if the you green wish. things count, so no, but they do throw missiles. They do? Which is kind of like poop. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, I if guess. If you want to think about it like that. It's what okay. it is. It's... Come on. Let's be missiles, realistic here. Poop. <laughs> missiles are poop. <laughs> Anyway, here's our midway point, and here's, uh, this hill is full of mud, actually. I actually decided to run on it. It's slippery, and it makes splashing sounds. Whee. I can get some momentum. <laughs> See, look, I slide. Whoa. And right into the water I go. Speaking of the water, um, Yoshi cannot swim downwards. Hmm. But interestingly enough, you know, if we jump and go down, we can kind of bob our head. I mean, oh, look, we can go underneath uh, obstacles doing this. Oh my god, hacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun, but oh, well, yeah, I kind of you that watched spring, that but, jump. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh try that again. That was kind of silly of me just jump right up. At least I can go back. There's just a little area there that just instantly teleports you to this area. Massive donut lifts. Oh my wow. gosh! No kidding. Big land. So, let's try not to throw too many eggs away. The purpose of this area is to hit some shy guys for some one ups, <laughs> or I suppose you could go eat them. But I decided to play by the spirit of this area. Hit them with the eggs. Get them my one-ups. <laughs> because so we need more free... one-ups. Yeah, we <laughs> totally where... do. <laughs> this is where Freeze the cursor. Gotta remember to count how many lives he has at the end <laughs> of this stage here. Oh gosh, I, I think maybe at the start of uh, our next set of videos, I'll just show at the beginning of the video. This is how many lives I have because I know I have more than a hundred at this point, actually. <laughs> wow, it counts more than a hundred. Yeah, life count actually goes up to nine hundred ninety-nine in this game. Wow, it actually saves, which is incredible. And it saves too. <laughs> uh, there really isn't a point, even considering secret or extra levels, where I don't think you'll need more than ninety-nine. I, I kind of joked that I'll need fifty-one or more at one point, and that relates to my Little Let's Play Yoshi's froggies. Island DS. I'm sorry, that was very ADD of me. Look at them, they're they so look, cute. They kind of look like tadpoles. No, tadpoles, feel... they can't jump yet. Oh, okay then, I guess you are right, they are little froggies. <laughs> I don't know too much behind frog biology. Biology was actually not my strong suit. Or amphibians. Biology sucks. <laughs> my strong suit way. was physics, so that's where my area of strength lay. Physics sucks too, Lies. so you're... Both are lesser nice. to evils. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could go for a good biology lecture, though it's not like I dislike biology. W once you get to my age, you actually start appreciating instructors and lectures, and they're no, actually kind of interesting. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> No, you Depends don't. on who the teacher is, the professor. Yes. There, there, okay, there is some dependence on the teacher, but may, maybe I say that because I'm really enjoying my U.S. history class. I would enjoy my U.S. history class too if all I did was talk about World War II. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, that red coin there that I just threw an egg at is kind of in a precarious position right over the pit because uh, I have definitely tried getting that red coin just jumping at it and then falling in the pit. <laughs> the camera acts kind of weird here, almost indicating that there's something on both of the holes here. I was wondering. Oh, uh, they yeah. aren't. <laughs> Those are both instant death holes, and I don't really? show it off, which I uh. probably should have showed off that they're instant death holes, but um, just take my word for it, they're instant death holes. It definitely I like looks like it should holes. scroll down there. <laughs> mm -hmm. wonder if it was planned at some point or something, they just took it out. The player might go down one of these two holes and then die. <laughs> or they like just wanted to see like people Like it should be, like the original die. Mario. There we go, now these uh, line of monkeys here, we can't eat them, we can't throw watermelon seeds at them, can't throw an egg at them, but if you run into them, they're gonna kidnap baby Mario. And seeing as I'm at the end of the stage, I don't want that to happen. I don't even have any plus stars at the moment, I've kinda used them all. Oh. And I haven't gotten any new ones, so gotta play really cautious now. And well, oh. darn. <laughs> Not good. Th thank God for eggs, or thank goodness for eggs, depending on your point of view. Here we go. Another line of monkeys. Gotta be really careful around here. It's like the outdoor version of the fire bar, except it doesn't go all the way around. <laughs> That's a decent observation. The goal is up ahead. I made sure to look at my stats because I'm like, make sure the goal's up ahead. There we go. All right, ready? No bonus game. Aww. Yay! You don't need any more lives. <laughs> we need items. Ah, uh, yes, I definitely want items much more than lives at this point, actually. <laughs> Although the fact that you've unlocked the bonus game number one to be able to play that any time kind of breaks the purpose of wanting to get it at the end of a stage anyway. That's true. I could go back to that bonus game, play it a couple of times, get some plus stars, make my life easier. Maybe I should do that. For goodness <laughs> sakes. Our next level today, Jungle Rhythm! This level introduces... Oh, come on. There we go. Tribal Shy Guys. It would later return and in Super Mario, right? And you can't jump on them. That's right. They hold up a spear, can't jump on them. I can't even throw an egg at them because they have a shield, but they're kind of exposed on behind them. <laughs> so we can eat behind them, we can throw eggs behind them. Um, there's specifically two types of Tribal Shy Guys. There's these guys with the spears, and then there's another dancing variant. And what I'm showing there is something really, really quirky with the Martin Mill days. If you ground pound on one of them and keep holding down, you can... Why uh, did you do that? That was dumb. Because I'm looking for invisible bubble clouds. <laughs> I figured there would have been one in there, for sure. <laughs> the game usually likes highlighting invisible bubble clouds in just areas a player would normally not go. But there, I show it again with the Martin Mill days. Keep holding down and you'll actually ground pound twice, because you actually stop your current ground pound and start a new one. <laughs> I don't know if it can actually be used in any type of exploit, but I wouldn't doubt it if it can. Hmm. Someone let me know about it. Ooh, what's it's that? just a fun fact. Uh, take oh, a look at these checkerboard blocks. Ones. And the dancing tribal shy guys. They make funny sounds. And I just noticed, oh shit, I should probably get that shit. Ah, evil shy guy! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Collect some starts here. I haven't showed off these checkerboard platforms, they're kind of useless in this specific location. They take like a second and a half to spawn in, and then they're just moving platforms. Hmm. There isn't anything terribly interesting about them, but um, naturally moving platforms. Ooh. Here we go. Secret area. Now, this message no block is really interesting. Oh, how do you like this game? Goodies are hidden in every level, you know? You should look all over if you want to get 100 points. Investigate. <laughs> Anything that looks suspicious. That doesn't really fit here at all. <laughs> it doesn't fit no. here at all. It should have been in, like, level 1. <laughs> or something earlier. This area doesn't even have any flowers or red coins. <laughs> so it isn't necessarily a really fitting place to put that message, but it's interesting the game now tells you, hey, dude, there might be some goodies if you get 100 in each level. The funny part is that you're already like inside of a secret and it's telling you that there's secrets hidden. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never thought about it at that angle, because I think I've always just gone to that secret area. But maybe it's just me? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I decided to show off what we talked about in an earlier video. I cannot go back in there unless the switch is pressed. Mm. So, in a sense, it's like an invisible pipe that's only enterable if you have a switch pressed. There we go. That tap-tap was kind of in my way. 
Look at this big swinging platform. It's actually swinging relatively quickly. Whoa. I mean, a combination of it being a big long platform and it's spinning at this rate. I don't have anything too terribly interesting to say here, though, because it's just a bunch of platforms. <laughs> but there's some red coins up here. I suppose I could have banked an egg to get all those. Up? Maybe. Oh my Maybe gosh, not. you are. A little bit. <laughs> it is, yeah, it does look a little bit faster. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe he's like on speed or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that I got the staircase to appear with that uh, other bubble cloud kind of in animation. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, you know, she climbs up the stairs. And... The vertical level, kind of. Even though. <laughs> kind of. It'll become horizontal again. This level is kind of shaped you, like. Uh... You should have went back for that egg. It was a red egg, and it was sitting there. Later. Or until then. Later. We're now... It won't be there later. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if you jump to the left, there's probably something. Yes. You're correct. <laughs> We go there, we come out of a pipe, and we're just in an area where there are some red coins hidden behind the canopy. And a, uh, a minigame door. Oh, yay! A minigame hut. Hooray! What minigame will we play today? Balloon throw! Spin the bottle! Yes! <laughs> Spin, <laughs> Spin the, the bottle. bottle. We're actually playing throwing balloons, but we're actually playing the different variant of throwing balloons, where there are six button presses instead of four. Uh, the same principles apply, though. Uh, after five... Uh, Iterations of failure, throw the balloon back at the end of the bar and the bandit doesn't have any time. And I kind of like this variant better because of the six button presses, you have a little bit more leeway to uh, to do things. Mm -hmm. That is, the bandit has more buttons to press himself too, so I don't have to get it as close to the end of the bar, <laughs> and he has no chance. Two up! And it even has a better oh, reward, two up. you didn't need that. <laughs> I would have rather had an item, I would agree, but I'll gladly take the two up. Because, you know, you're totally dying left and right. <laughs> have you ever maxed out the life counter? I have. Um, there are, as I'll actually show pretty shortly in the video, ways to grind one-ups. Although I don't actually take any of the lives I grind up, I only do it for demonstration purposes. Hmm. There's another asshole shy guy, by the way. That, that's my official name for him. I don't care if it's not their official name, that's my name for them, asshole shy guys. <laughs> So we've made it to the end of the level, but I only have 25 stars, and unless there's a bubble cloud I'm completely missing in this level, I think this is one of those levels where you either have to use a 10 plus star or a 20 plus star or make some red eggs. I want to make red eggs path. Um, the goal is coming up. Are you all ready? Yes. No. <laughs> Go! No! No! Bonus challenge! Woo! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> No more lives. So yeah, I just cut out completely me getting red eggs and knocking over some tap taps and getting the stars. <laughs> so I think there might be a bubble cloud I'm missing that level. But I figured before our cutoff, I ought to show off some additional goodies. But first, the mini game. We got drawing lots. Here's the literally pick one panel, you get what's behind there. <laughs> ice melon? Oh, super. Yeah. I got an ice melon. I'm always superstitious the upper left hand block, although this time it was in the upper right that Kamek was in. <laughs> So level 3-3, we'll have to wait a little bit. First off, we're going to go back to level 2-5. To do something while Yoshi told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went into a bonus area, went back out of the bonus area, and uh, this area seems mildly familiar. Yeah. Woo, fluttering. Did they have a pipe and they forgot to put an exit to it? Or... Yeah, that, that was a pipe that had the exit condition. We go in it and we're back in 1-1. <laughs> this time from 2-5. This is pretty much the equivalent the the of the Mario ROM hacks when people forget to set an exit to a door or pipe and you get stuck in an infinite bonus game. Although, well, luckily, it's actually possible to beat this and it can be kind of beneficial. Anyway. Yeah. I actually want to show off what some more of those. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this is me showing you how you can grind and lies if you choose to do so. And finally, I wanted to show this off. This is something I forgot to show off at 1-7 because I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ground pound on these yellow things, red things. You notice when I'm using the lawn pause, I'm kind of still going downwards mm -hmm. in between pauses when everything's supposed to be completely stationary. Now, in the SNES version of this game, this was kind of just an afterthought. But in the GBA version, because of the quick pause, I uh, am kind of sinking into the ground. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is awesome! Whoa! To the point where I die the moment I unpause. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, in the SNES version, 